Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Nick Juan Jordan, here protagonist, and today we are going to be creating 3D meshes with 2D images using common sense machines. So CSM for short is a software that lets you do just that. You take a 2D image and it will use AI to actually draw the sides and the back of the image and turn it into a 3D mesh. So this is the community showcase. You can see, um, basically these are gonna be the best ones, of course, um, why else would they, why would they put their worst ones out here? But you're going to see a lot of really good results here, um, just from 2D images, just the way it actually creates the image, creates the sides and the back of the image, even the top of the image and the bottom of the image, and turns it into a 3D mesh. It is very, very easy to use, um, I actually been using this for a long time, been using it for quite a while, but I've only used it like three times, three or four times, just to create some stuff for my Instagram. Not really do anything crazy like game assets or nothing like that. But you can see it works really, really well. Um, even with this image right here, like when you look at the actual image, you can see it does have a background. And so the software has a way of actually pulling out the subject of the image and focusing completely on that. And even though parts like part of her head is cut off, it just went ahead and recreated the head itself. So it's a very, very nice software, very well done and very, very easy to use. Now you do have some times where it will, like obviously this is Cortana, but it completely created a new person. Everything looks very similar, except she does not look like Cortana at all. Her skin is a normal uh, normal color rather than being blue. And you'll see something somewhere here, like this, this character over here with the stripes. You can see that it looks like a, um, you know, a character that I don't know anything about, but then the AI turned it into Jack Skellington. And so you will have some times where if it's similar to something else, it will change it into that something else rather than what you're looking to change it into. You got this image over here, which is a drawing, and it actually did take the drawing, uh, the sketch, and turned it into a 3D object. So it does work really, really well. We're going to jump into my account and we'll look at some of the stuff that I've done. So you can see I've actually used just normal images. I didn't use images without a background or even full body images. So with this one, this is an older one that I've done um, probably about a month ago. The software has improved quite a bit since I did this one, but it's still, still a pretty good job considering that it recreated um, all the sides of the dragon in order to turn it into a 3D object. This one is really, really recent. Uh, you can see it did a very, very good job. It just basically guessed the back and the sides of the character, but it still looks really good though. Even though I definitely would not consider that to be the back side, it just, it, it still looks good. This is the newest one that I've done, which was a Android, part of an Android series that I'm doing on my Instagram. And you can see just how good that looks. It looks really, really good. If you click on one of them, it will actually take you to, um, I don't even know what they would call this screen here. But when you first upload something, it gives you kind of like the image that you've uploaded. And you can see it took out the background and just focused on the subject. And then it gives you a preview of what it's going to look like around the sides. It didn't come out exactly like that, as you can see. If I turn her around, she doesn't have the ponytail that it showed in these. So it looks like it kind of like, um, like it goes through a few generations before it comes out with the final product. But you can zoom in and out to see what it looks like. And you can see it created all the sides of it and turned it into a full 3D mesh. Very, very cool. And then of course you can just download it right here and use it in whatever software that you wanna use it in. You can see you can get the OBJ, GBL, or USDZ, all kinds of different, um, different platforms for use. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna just upload an image. Uh, you can do Discord generation, but I'll just do it on the website. 
and we're going to look at the images that I've created recently. This is stuff that I've uploaded to my Instagram. We are going to go with, uh, let's go with our Barbarian Princess. We'll go with that. Upload it. Now it does take quite a while to render. Um, I am using the free, uh, free membership. So it does take a long time. It actually is a lot faster if you upgrade but I don't use this often enough to actually upgrade. And there it is. So it takes the image and it kind of just uh, looks at it, figure out exactly how to create the other sides. So you can see here is kind of like the preview. So the preview does not look good on this one, but I might still, I might still leave it there just to see what happens. Now it does take a really, really long time. I actually, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and wait for it to render the 3D mesh. And I'll let you guys know exactly how long it took to do that. All right, so we are back. It says uh, refine done down on the bottom. That's when it's um, actually finished. The way it works is it start with, starts with a preview and then it goes into a refine. Uh, for some reason, this one didn't refine. That's why it looks the way it does. But then when refine is done, that's when it's actually finished. It took about two hours in order to actually train the model and come up with this. But this is what it looks like. You can see it looks a lot better than the actual preview. The colors are um, a bit too washed out. There probably is a way to fix that. Um, if you were to upgrade and have the option to refine the models, you can probably fix all of that. Or you can just import this into whatever 3D software you use to fix the coloring in it. But besides the colors, everything else looks really, really good. Um, looks very similar to the actual image itself. The, uh, the actual 3D model looks great. I really like this a lot. I like the way it colored the back of it. It just basically um, gave her some bands around her arms and then just covered the rest of her back with the hair, which works just fine. It's a much easier way to do things. So this is, um, this is just the free version. If I can find, um, let's see, upgrade tier, here we go. So with the free version, you have um, the public server, which is really slow. Like I said, it took two hours to actually generate that model, but you have all the basic stuff, which is all you need. Being able to generate an image to 3D. If you upgrade to $20 a month, this is the uh, monthly billing. Then that's when you can get the faster dedicated server. You get 100 credits a month which is 100 um, preview generations or 10 3D models. You can also do a video to 3D, which is something I haven't had the chance to try out. I might upgrade just to see what that looks like. And of course you do have the API access as well. You get the $60 a month Creative Pro, you actually get 400 credits, which is 400 generations or 40 3D models. Get the dedicated server, uh, image to 3D, video to 3D, all the extra stuff, including uh, batch uploads and simultaneous processing, which might be good if, uh, if you have a lot of models that you want to create. So that is pretty much it for this. They do have um, yearly options as well. You do save, you get two months free if you go with the yearly plan. So this is actually really, really cool software. Let me go back to the showcase. Really cool software, very, very easy way to create 3D models. Um, I would imagine you could just export these into all kinds of different software add uh, flex points and things and actually turn them into stuff you can use to create videos, uh, video game assets, all kinds of stuff like that. So if you have any questions, um, anything you want me to try out, any images you want me to try, or if you want me to just upgrade to see what the video to 3D looks like, just let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.